So I found an interesting Twitter a couple days ago. Is it an art Twitter? Not necessarily. You'll see. Uh, this Twitter is someone who has an AI creator that um, takes Pokemon, just creates new creatures fully based on what existing Pokemon designs are already look like. And it's all just AI <laughs> generated. I'm clicking through them now. <laughs> yeah. The thing you'll notice is that they don't actually look like real creatures. At a distance, that looks like Pokemon. Yeah. It's like a painting. You get up close to it and it's just, it's bad. Yeah. It's an abstract piece of art called a Pokemon. Um, I'm going to start looking for a creature that I like, a shape that I like, and try to make a creature out of it. I think I'm going to go with this one. It's a lot of shape. That's a lot of shape. So this is going to be a little bit hard for you to follow at first, but I'm just going to start with what I think is the eye, which is towards the top left. Says you. I'm going to follow it immediately. Okay, gotcha. That's good. That's good. That's what we need. Oh, I see what you're doing. How do you, yeah. I made two lines. <laughs> Don't you lie. I can see the whole picture. So I'm going to make this just kind of look like a bug somehow. Uh, okay, I like this prompt. This is fun now. <laughs> I'm glad you're super skeptical of all of my prompts and... <laughs> Well, when, when just, the instructions them. were unclear. It's like, here's a Twitter account. Go. Hey, you're the one who said we don't need to discuss the prompts ahead of time. I like jumping in fresh. Oh, it, it's, it's, I do. I, I stand by that. It's like a little tiny little chicken wing. It can't fly, though. Oh, yeah. I, I'm trying to figure out like what to do with this shape, actually. I'm just kind of recreating it from the from the image because it, it looks like a kind of like a it's back, right? Yeah, I think it's a donut. Would it be weird if it looks almost like a subwoofer kind of thing? I mean, if you want to get some biotechnical stuff in there, that could be cool. It's, it's like a cricket where it makes all these loud sounds. This looks like an eye. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look like, you know, just a subwoofer, but I don't know how to do that. So now it's an eye. I, I want to hear more about this lore. It makes loud sounds in the middle of the night. <laughs> it makes loud sounds with its large eye. <laughs> To attract Maybe it's meant to something. look like an eye, like a butterfly, you know? And, okay, that's better. Yeah. I like that you just turn this mess in the middle into just abs. <laughs> that's the first impression <laughs> I got from it. And and you know what? I'm not I'm not I'm not ashamed. I think it was it was a good choice. Yeah. You know, like before you drew the center lines and the, the lines on the right, and it was just kind of like a silhouette. I, I kind of saw a chin inside of a helmet. Like the helmet was like a Saint Seiya helmet. Ooh. Can you imagine this Pokemon is just a, a fashion statement? <laughs> it flies down, you wear it. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed like there was this this like lower part but beneath what what I chose to be the eye. But um I couldn't think of what to do with it, so I made it a mouth, kind of. <laughs> this guy looks like he's really unhappy. <laughs> you look at his face, it just looks like he's making this sound like <laughs> it's actually a bit yeah. more like this okay he's happier now yeah but it looks like it's a forced happy like he's happy for the group because <laughs> he doesn't want to bring down the vibe yeah so the shapes get pretty complex down here so i'm going to simplify them a bit because that's what pokemon does what's that spider metal pokemon megatross megatross <laughs> um i'm trying to think of what you're talking about Me metagross metagross let me Beautiful boy. draw his other hand thing. I'm assuming it's a boy. That's gotta be its genitalia. <laughs> that does look a bit phallic. Um, but there's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna shrink him a bit so I can add his lower bits, which I don't know what it's gonna be. It looks like some sort of mechanical docking system. Yeah, I kind of just knew he floated around like a uh, Voltorb. So I guess I'm just gonna... You need to do something with the big old shape on the right. Oh yeah, that's another part. So I think what I'm gonna do, and this is gonna be a bit weird, but I think he like can come apart into two pieces. That's his, okay. that's his special thing. And then when he wants to do his big powerful attack, he matches the pieces together. And I move my hands in a way that looks like they interlock <laughs> for reference of what I'm trying to talk about. <laughs> um, and you can uh, just like find a GIF or something when you edit this together. <laughs> yeah, I'll use a stock image. That's so weird to think about, though. Like, if that's how a real animal works, it just left half the body somewhere, and it's, it gets startled, and it's like, I need to become more powerful. It <laughs> runs back to its home. Yeah. Like, can you imagine a bear runs inside a cave and then comes out like, with the cave? <laughs> with a cave attachment, yeah. Yeah. 
So it's an insect that when he wants to fly has to attach himself to something else in some way. <laughs> or maybe it's like a, a jet ski. Yeah. And the steering wheel is that spike on the top there. <laughs> yeah. It's like a joystick that doesn't move. You know those like old games at arcades where you squeeze it and it gives you like a rating? Oh yeah, the... That's how you steer this device. Strength test things, yeah. The way this thing operates is just endlessly amusing. <laughs> Can I got to do that ski left and right motion to get the wings to flap? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> this is this is my creature. He's a got he's a he's a bug with a with a big scary eyeball on his back that comes with a ski a, a jet ski attachment. I give this creature an A plus for creativity. Uh, it, it is a mess. I shouldn't have gone with it, but here we are. Uh, I guess we could could name it too. This is like if uh, at Nintendo, they were like, all right, everybody, we want 10 new creatures every day. And this is like the last creature you draw on the last day <laughs> of a year of hard work. <laughs> yeah, it's like this is I know this isn't making it into the game. Uh, everyone else knows that I know that as well. But You've exhausted every other possible idea. <laughs> but I've done good work, so I'm just going to for the show of it. I'm going to say that uh, this is one of my top designs. <laughs> You know what's bad about you going first so, is, I, is I always like say all these cheeky things about your drawing and then I'm up and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is hard. <laughs> That's the point. It always comes back to bite me. That is absolutely the point of it. We, okay. we just need to roast each other, even though we are we know we are no better ourselves. True. I'm trying to think of some portmanteau of insect and jet ski and in, insect ski, which sounds awful. <laughs> but that's. <laughs> Par for the course for the kind of Pokemon names they have today. All right, fine, we're going with it. Just use an X and sexy. No, we can't. We can't have S E and X in a row. That's not allowed. Oh, but put K after it. Yeah, because um, you can't name any of your Pokemon basements it's, because it's almost uh, one of those words that reads forwards and backwards. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I can make that. Uh, if I change insects knee, is that no? That's not enough. Still, forget it. This drawing sucks, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of personality. All right. Now you get to, to mess up your own thing. All right. Found something? I choose Pikachu. I can't choose Pikachu. That's... Okay, I choose this blue guy instead. Ooh. Okay, that looks really, really fun. I like that. Looks like, right. um, what, is, what does it say the types are? Uh, oh, I didn't even actually look at that. Flying? Just, just, just flying, I think? It says flying eggs. It's eggs. <laughs> Maybe that's its egg group. I don't know. How's that? How's that all work? Based on some of its moves, it looks like it's got some insect bits in there, some flying bits in there. Okay. Well, I'm going to ignore all of that, and I'm just going to go with my gut. All right, do it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Once you get actually into it, it's hard to figure out how to make the pieces right. Oh, is that its eye? Yeah, I'm taking some liberties there. I'm going to give it a bit of a brow ridge. That's good. Oh, the timer for the wheel has gone off. No, I forgot about that thing. <laughs> All right, it is time for the random wheel to go. Uh, we spin the wheel and edit our drawing based on what it gives us. So let's see what you get spinning the wheel. Are you excited? No. Yes, yeah, you are. Excited. <laughs> Making, a, Making scene. a scene. Draw an unexpected setting or background. Okay. So you, you've got to apply uh, some context to this little fellow then. You won't be here all night. Cause that's how you end up being here all night. <laughs> is you make me draw a background. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> it's kind of just like the, the draw, <laughs> draw more is, is what the wheel gave us. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. I'm going to worry about that second character. All right. That's going to be its little jaw. It looks like it has like a little neck shape going on with like a little coming out <laughs> yeah, it's like a little i don't know it just looks like some weird just growth like a baguette yeah that's not the shape you drew oh wait okay <laughs> now i see what you're drawing i was thinking of a croissant okay yeah just symmetryify it all right and then uh this is why i kind of picked it because it looked like a chariot and i want to incorporate that into the design Ooh, that is really good i don't know how to draw a chariot though <laughs> Oh, you're pulling up reference? Yeah, you can dock me for points. 
I mean, you remember the, the whenever I pull up reference, I ruin the recording. So I think you pulling up reference is not going to be too much of an issue. <laughs> if you want to still go with the flying element, I'm not sure if you do, but um, I'm not sure if you do. But it, it, if you do, it, it, we could um, kind of explain it away in the um, the Greek um, god that flies around in a chariot, right? Oh yeah, there's something like like as a sun or something. He's the sun god, I think. Um, <laughs> has one in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Takes it out during parties. I'm trying to remember what name it is. I don't think it's Helios. It's funny as like if I was doing anything else, I would instantly be able to tell you what you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> but because half your mind is spent is on drawing yep. and talking, yeah, you know, it, it makes it hard. That's one thing that we've noticed is becoming we become incredibly stupid when we do this. All right, now this is the part that I'll, another reason I picked this is because it looked like this item that I'm about to draw. What shape is that? Is that another baguette? Nope. Is that a water gun? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, in your mind, this picture is of, is of a creature holding a water gun. Riding a chariot. Oh, that is, that's great. <laughs> I mean, so one of its moves has, has to be water gun then. No, it's not a water type, it's a flying type. But it has to move water gun, it must. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it holds a water gun but it must not use it yeah <laughs> it's a ghost type that's great you know I, I love that because when I first saw the drawing the first thing I thought of was that big yellow circle right in front of the pointy bit uh, the pointy head it looked like one of those kind of like bells that you have a cat wear around his collar oh yeah it does look like that <laughs> But I love that you just went in a completely different direction than would, than anything I would have thought of. Yeah, I like your the cat thing though. That also would have been really funny. <laughs> this is a fun prompt. We should come back to this sometime. Yeah, this turned out a lot better than I would expected. So that's great. Uh, this is, this kind of reminds me. I drew a picture once um, for a stream that we actually did together on a previous project. But we were just doing a stream, and I was drawing stuff in the background, and we got onto the topic of um, the missing no thing. Where it was always like it was a creature that had uh, two moves called Water Gun and one called Sky Attack, and uh, like evolved into a Kangaskhan or something. And so I drew a Kangaskhan where it and its baby in the pouch both were holding water guns and shooting them. Oh yeah, I remember that now. That was a really cute picture. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. All right, should I put like a little symbol on the chariot? Hmm. You, you can kind of like just add a little triangle shape towards the middle in the middle of it. Triangle shape, huh? Because it's kind of got that in the middle of uh in the middle of its original shape there like that oh 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 <laughs> you're talking at the front of the chariot i was talking towards like the back tail of the chariot oh no no no. i see what you mean though about that like you give it a, a little bit of a fin yeah uh i think that's too redundant okay all right i think it's time to name this thing yeah what should we call it um oh you, you already have an idea <laughs> <laughs> what i came up with it on my own <laughs> yeah but what does it mean? <laughs> what? It doesn't mean anything. Oh, okay. It, it's not. It's not close to any other Pokemon's name either. <laughs> well, I already knew that part. <laughs> it's. Uh, it looks completely different than any other char uh, uh, any other um name name of any po Charmander uh any name Pokemon yeah. <laughs> that I could think well, of. Is, we got Chariot. We got a Water Gun. And um, what's this dude look like? He looks like a Manta Ray. <laughs> It looks like a, maybe a salamander in a chariot, so like chair-mander. Oh. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Perfect. Wait, that's not how chariot is spelled. It's C-H-A-R. No, so. no, 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 no. It, it is, it is chair-mander. <laughs> Oh, so the chariot also acts as a chair. Okay, so that works. Yeah, it is part of its body. <laughs> you know those little meeples in board games that have like a flat surface on the bottom? Yeah. That's what it would look like if you took it out if of his If you took chariot. it out of his chariot. Oh, I'm glad we have vehicles for both of our Pokemon, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I can honestly say I don't know if I would have made mine if you hadn't gone first. Because vehicles was on the brain. <laughs> yeah, maybe I influenced you a bit. All right, I love this dude. That's great. Pokemon, buy these from us. 
<laughs> yep. Send us money. You can buy the whole show. <laughs> Please, we just want the money. <laughs> we'll become producers and have two other people draw. <laughs> yeah. All oh right. wait, no. What? What? Um, I need to add a background. Oh my god, I forgot about that too. We just—it wasn't relevant, so we just completely forgot. Yeah, put him Where somewhere. Where should I put this? Okay, I got an idea. <laughs> Looks like a nice foreshortened road. Mm. So, <laughs> you're, you're, so it's in the middle of like a, a highway or something. You're just drawing other cars. Uh, not quite a highway. It's uh. Oh, this like is this like NASCAR? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wow, this is how you is, train Pokemon. This is a very chariots. big Pokemon then. I was thinking it'd be like three feet tall, but this <laughs> is um with the scale there, it looks like it's a good eight or nine. You know what? Yeah, that that was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do really like the Pokemon that you don't know how big they are until like you read the Pokedex entry. Yeah. It says they're suddenly as big as a house, and you're like, what? <laughs> Like I remember, the only thing that comes to mind specifically is uh, is Charizard for me, because um, you know people think it's like this ten foot tall dragon, but it's it's really like five foot. Yeah, <laughs> cheering in the stands. Yeah, that's good. I don't know what's in the center of a NASCAR ring. Um, grass? I think it's just like grass and like tires and stuff like that. Okay. So <laughs> a tire standing up on end, yeah. And some That's grass. What oh, here, I'll do it artistically, composition wise. You know, there we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, that now that's art. <laughs> wow. All right, I phoned it in, okay, but I didn't want to spend forever on it. No, so. no, it's very good. I I love your wonky cars. I I love your piece of grass in front of a tire standing up. <laughs> It's all the perfect. showpiece is Chair Mandarin, and I don't want to take away from him. Yeah, the background needs to be bad so that your eye is focused on the good part. Exactly. <laughs> oh, all right, calling it done. All right, we're ending it now. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, we are a very new channel, so any help that you can provide, whether it's a like, comment, subscribe, uh, anything you want to do to help us out would be really appreciated. And if you have any suggestions on what we should draw, uh, we'd be happy to hear it. Thanks so much. Take care.